Hey guys, Dora here. Today I have a video that I have honestly spent the last few months preparing for because it's an empty haul. We have a lot of stuff. Let's get right into it. So the first one is a product that I bought when I was actually first in Korea way back in 2014. Before I went to Korea, of course, for anybody who's obsessed with skincare, I did a lot of research online, read loads of, um, you know, mass by products, top voted products in Korea, and this was voted like one of the must buy products. This is actually a drugstore brand, so I bought it, I think, in Olive Young. And actually, when I was there, I bought three of these, and this is actually a repurchase uh, by a friend who actually bought it from Korea for me. Um, this is the Body Essence Q10. I can't pronounce that. Super moisturizing, it's not oily at all, absorbs right away. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I have been using the Avino, 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 Avino uh, daily moisturizing lotion. This is, I have to say, not as moisturizing as the Beauty Credit Q10 uh, lotion, but the best I can find within the UK. If you have any other recommendation, definitely let me know. I'm not like 100% married to this product. Would I be repurchasing it? Mm, I'll probably be trying a lot of other things in the meantime. And if I can't find anything better then, or if I can't find a easily, then I'll probably go back to this. So that is all to do with body products. Let's move on to the facial stuff. Um, the first thing I wanted to share is this fan aqua fantasy whitening cream from holica holica again this was actually a present from a friend um, i personally don't use any products with whitening in it and i actually ended up using a lot of this on my neck rather than on my face just because i don't really i'm not that obsessed with being white um but that's probably the only downside about Korean products is that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the cream has whitening um, on it. I mean, I don't know how much it will actually, you know, help you whiten your skin. I guess if you put it on your, the probably only time I would use it is to put it on my dark spots, but I didn't really notice a difference. So I definitely will not be repurchasing this. And it opens up like this. Okay, the next thing is a sunscreen that I have been loving and I would definitely be repurchasing. It's the Shiseido Perfect Essence Sunscreen SPF 50 plus and PA it's like 4 plus. This is a really really good uh, sunscreen. Um, although I did find a dupe for it, which is the Etude House. Oh, do I have it here? The only downside to this is the price of it because it is quite expensive. I don't exactly remember how much it is. The cream version of this spray, which is the Sun Prize Face and Body uh, SPF 50 as well, uh, one from Etude House, is I think a fantastic dupe for the Shiseido. And I think the price is like less than half of the price of one of these. So if I can't find Etude House easily at hand, I'll definitely be repurchasing this. Yeah, I don't think there's any left, literally. I've used up all of it. Um, glides on really nicely. There you go. It's a tiny bit left, literally the last drop. It goes on really smoothly. It's not oily at all, and it's a really good... Look how milky that is. And it's just really moisturizing. I hate sunscreen that, it's, that leaves your skin super white. But as you can tell, this is super transparent, leaves you with a natural glow. Next up, another Korean product, the Nage Water Sleeping Pack. Crystal clear and hydrating, hydrated skin with water science for all skin type. Again, this is one of the most voted product, super duper famous product. The brand ambassador is obviously Song, Song Hui Kyo, Song Hui Kyo. I only know it in Mandarin, but I have to say I'm really disappointed with this. 
it's one of the first ever sleeping masks that started the whole sleeping mask trend but it didn't really do anything for my skin i just woke up feeling super sticky i mean i don't know if it's my skin is i have really dry skin for those of you who don't know so i don't know maybe it's just not enough hydration for my skin type in particular but really disappointed and i've given it enough goals where i feel like i've tried enough and there's only so many times you can wake up with a sticky face really good product that i have been loving so much so to a point that in the last three months i've accumulated two empties. oops is the garnier rose soothing botanical toner with rose water it's 96 percent natural origin ingredients for dry and sensitive skin there's no paraben no silicones no artificial colorants um this is a really good product if you have again dry skin what the reason why i have used so much of it is because i bought these like little compressed mask pack um, mask packs mask packs no mask packs um let me show you guys i don't know if i have one at hand but it's one of those uh, let me go find it for you guys it's one of those tiny little like round things and then you just drop it in the toner and then it just soaks up the the toner and it magically appears a face mask and then you just put it on your face it's like a cheaper version of a face mask and i personally find it really helpful again have dried skin the only bad thing about this product and the reason why i went for a different alternative is because this does contain traces of alcohol my esthetician friend justin my dear friend justin told me that for dry skin i really shouldn't use any alcohol on my face whatsoever he recommended i look for organic rose hydrolyte so this is just literally the exact same thing but in pure rose water form i carry this like literally everywhere i go when i'm traveling when i'm on planes and i just when i'm when i'm on a plane especially with my dry skin what I like to do is I just go wild with this stuff and I also spray some in the air too just because the air on the plane is super dry too I just want to be extra moisturized next up we have the Kale's Midnight Recovery Concentrate um, again this is a pretty hyped product supposedly replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visible restore the appearance of skin by morning i actually bought this because my friend recommended this and she swore buys it i personally prefer the rosehip oil uh to this midnight recovery concentrate i don't actually know what kind of uh essential oils is in this one but the one that I've been loving actually, I don't have it here, it's at my other home. The other oil I've been loving is just a pure rosehip oil. This product for me, I think it's about 30 plus pounds, under 40 pounds. Um, personally, I don't think it's worth the money. And the rosehip oil I bought, I think it was 13 pounds for a much bigger bottle as well. So I would not be repurchasing this. Next up, what do we have left? <gasps> oh, another Korean product, which is a definitely repurchase. This is actually already my third jar of this good stuff. It's the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero uh, face oil. Honestly, face balm. Face balm, that's what it's called. Honestly, I've used up literally the last drop of this stuff and it's just so so good the texture actually i do have this in my hand with me right now let me get it out of my makeup bag so i this is my travel skincare pack and in here i have a little packet of this stuff see i've used so much of it the the word the letters have rubbed off the this is the consistency of the product the texture is super creamy and then you just pick some up with your finger and then you rub it all over your face like literally this takes off every single thing you wash it off with water and the minute that it touches water it turns into a milky kind of non-oily um textured 
uh, product and then it just takes away all of your makeup. For those of you who are interested in Korean skincare, the 10 step skincare, this is normally what they use the first step, the oil clay. I've bought multiple tops of this since I first came across it when I visited Korea. Next up, we have two high-end products, um, the Lancon Hydro Zen and the Hydro Zen Neuro Calm. So these two things I got given for my skin, they were hydrating enough. It wasn't so hydrating to a point where I feel like I'm definitely going to add it to my repurchase. They are on the pricier end and I have since found other products that are more on the affordable side but still delivered similar results. So cute little tops but I will not be repurchasing. Next up, we have another Korean skincare and just so I don't think every Korean skincare product I've tried, I love. Again, super popular, super high product um, skincare line from its skin. And these little tubs, the brown tub is considered a dupe for the Estee Lauder brown uh, tub, Low Miracle. Uh, midnight recovery cream I think that's what it's called but personally I tried this one it's the number 10 and personally I did not find this very good at all like it just didn't do much for my skin I will not be repurchasing this and then we have two makeup products which I have used up um, the first one and this is actually the second one I bought because the other one I actually threw away because it was literally like this much left uh, this is the Kiko um eyeliner i got this in the color number three i don't know what this color is called but it's the crayon crayon pencil so i use this as an eyeliner and then i also blend it out as a eyeshadow it just goes on super easily as you can tell it's what i have on right now on my eyes so this is what it looks like on really nice neutral shade of brown and then another makeup item as you can tell i've used so much of it the letters have all rubbed off this is the etude house brow mascara um it just opens up like this as you can tell there's honestly so little product left and it's just supernatural um brow color i never used to be a eyebrow person but ever since i discovered brow mascara i've been loving putting on brows a lot of times like literally eyebrows the only thing i need right before i go out i don't do anything else i just put some sunscreen on and then some eyebrows i find it really frames the face frames the eyes tip for you guys if i use black eye pencil i look really angry and really it's a really sharp look but ever since i swore it's changed to the brow mascara i find the brows are just a lot more natural for me and i don't like to do i don't like to go for the full you know full on big lashes heavy look so the brown really works well for me so i highly recommend it if you are those who are if you're interested in a more natural um go to work look so definitely a repurchase for sure last but not least this is a nil product instant gel effect top coat and i have already used up one of these little thing and it's a repurchase and i recommend this for everybody anybody who is looking for a at home gel lick because this is this was a really expensive 12 pounds which to me quite expensive um but the effect honestly is so worth it one top coat of it it dries pretty much within 30 seconds to 60 seconds if you have a few coats. I got this from Boots. I think it was 12 pounds. I can't imagine it was more because I just don't think I could, I would have paid for more. That is everything. Um, I know for a lot of skincare products, it's very different depending on what kind of skin type you have. So I'd love to hear, read about your experience of them. And if you have liked the video, give it, a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and if you have any topic suggestions to what you want me to film next let me know down in the comments and i will see you in the next video bye guys